All right, well, let's talk about um, what's new this week with the comedy world. Are they uh, having to say goodbye to one half of the iconic Smother Brothers. On Tuesday, Tom Smothers died at the age of 86, along with his brother Dick. The duo tackled things like racism, the Vietnam War, and television censors on the Smother Brothers Comedy Hour. This was back in the 1960s. One Oro Valley woman was sad to learn about Tom's death as she had a very special connection with the Smother Brothers as a teenager. News for Tucson's Jafet Serrato sat down with the woman for a special trip down memory lane. He was in football, he track, boys are club. Lana Wilson has shown me a well-dressed Tom Smothers in her 1955 yearbook. Tom was a senior when I was a freshman and his brother was a sophomore one year ahead of me. They all attended Redondo Beach High School in Southern California, a time when Wilson says Tom was different than what audiences saw in the late 1960s. You can see him in this photo as part of the track team. Tom was not the character that he portrayed. He was a fairly fun guy. Blacks and whites still haven't worked it out. Tom and Dick eventually made it big landing their own show in 1967 called The Smother Brothers Comedy Hour. When they came on television, I mean, I just, it was like, I know those guys. You gotta watch yourself, Tommy. No more Nixon jokes. CBS would like to give us notice. As times changed, so did the brothers. CBS eventually canceled their show because they considered their humor as anti-establishment. I think they were a talent, and I think they should have let them have their talent or not hire them in the first place. Just recently, Tom passed away. I heard it on TV, and I felt very sad because he wasn't that old. Wilson says Tom will never be forgotten because he left a lasting impact. Just think how many comedy people were out after that. And that was Jeff.